Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Magneto and Danny Moonstar in the arena. This is round one, and I already have both of these champions, so I just went for a nice milestone grind. Now, there's something else going on, though, that if you are not aware of, let me show you guys this here. So we have level up on. I haven't done anything just yet. We had a cosmic advancement. But check these two things out. We have a nine-year anniversary solo event and not another anime reference solo event. So to get points for here, I believe this one is the uh, incursions. So you have to fight in incursions, and that's how you earn points here. All right? And this one here, nine-year anniversary, you get this one by doing a special arena using your one and your two stars. So let's go take a look at that real quick. Okay, we've got six arenas going on right now. I have not touched any of them. Um, and I'm only going to touch the, uh, those are the normal uh, Sunday arenas. But see here, you have a five-star shard celebration. And the only thing I want in here are these collector crystals. Just because I'm a collector. Uh, very easy to get here, as you can see. All right. So that's the only reason uh, for me to do that particular arena. And then we've got this one here. Six star shard celebration, one and two star uh, champions. And you can see here, you get six star shards and you get these collector crystals as well. But you also get units. These units, for me, are the big prizes here. As you know, I'm free to play, so anywhere I can get units in-game, I'm going to do it. And we have the banquet event coming up, so we want units. The six-star shards are also nice only because I'm still hunting Aegon. And if you look here, I am ready. So we've got, um, I have almost 48 thousand uh six star shards and we're gonna do the mutant skill dual crystal and i'll do that later you know during this level up see if we can get them and we also have um i believe i have a nexus crystal as well and this six star relic crystal might get a new relic that'd be nice and let me see did I have? I thought I had one. Yeah. We also have a six-star Nexus uh, Hero Crystal and a seven-star Loyalty Crystal. So in the next uh, opening, that's what you're going to see me opening up. All right? So let's uh, take a look at the leaderboards. See if we see anyone uh, that we recognize. We're going to start... I always forget. I think in the uh, Danny one, yeah. This one is the basic. Dr. George got number one. Alone Dark, number two. And I cannot read the third one. I'm sorry. I almost, for number six, it's Baba Boss. I almost said Barbosa. <laughs> Don't know why. Let's see if we recognize any names. Uh, so... How I feel about Danny Moonstar, I was ambivalent about Danny Moonstar until someone told me she was a really good counter to Nick Fury. All right. Now, I have two counters for Nick Fury that I consider to be really good. Penny Parker, for example, stops his second life, right? And I heard that she also stops his second life. So I'm like, okay, that that sounds good. She's, um, unlike Penny Parker, she's a mutant. 
and she can stop his second life? That seems like the perfect counter. I used her a couple of times. To date, up till this day, I have not prevented his second life with Danny Moonstar. All right. Uh, they were telling me, okay, you got to, you know, it, it's just the timing and everything. And I'm like, really? Because oftentimes, depending on the fight, I've already pushed him to his second life before I could get the neuroshocks. And, and it just seemed like a, a more work than it should be. Okay. I even stopped his second life. Well, not stopped it, but I kept him from healing with um, Nebula. I put that shock on him. And I watched his health, and it just would not go. It was like, that, that, that shock just tore him apart, okay? So, I don't know. And then I heard, uh, Lil Chillin', what's up, man? Uh, I heard that they're going to be updating her to make her more of a counter because she's not doing what they really intended for her to do, you know? And so maybe uh, she's going to be a good counter for um, Nick Fury. That should be interesting. Uh, but I already have her as a six star. So no need to go um, grinding for her here. And in fact, I believe I already took her up to rank three. So if she turns out to be really, really good. Um, especially against uh, Nick Fury. She might get a uh, rank four. Rank fours are definitely more plentiful now than they were. And so I might take her on up there. Uh, let's see. Come power. Bo was it Bozkurt and Rice? Or Reyes? Nimitz. Isn't that um, the pet of Honor Harrington? I think that's uh, that was his name, or close to it. If you guys have not read, um, I think it's uh, David Weber, um, the Honor Harrington series. There was a book that looked like he was going to end her, okay? And I didn't read it because of that. And in fact, it was a while that I learned he didn't end her in that book and continued on developing her. And, and I read what he had to say about it. He said that was his intention for her to go out honorably because, you know, she's a warrior, you know, this is a space uh, type thing. So she's a warrior and she would have, you know, gone out in a in a blaze of glory, pretty much, in the tradition of that school that they all uh, come from, you know, giving her life to save others, that sort of thing. But there was so much pushback from fans that he was like, you know what, I can't do this. And so he didn't. And then I went back and read. Now knowing that my... My girl was not going to be taken out like that. So if you have not read it, she's, she's, oh my goodness. That it was, it was something. He was going to end her and people were like, no. And then he found that he had grown attached to her too. Uh, sha sha boom. Uh, and so, you know, with the pushback and his growing attachment to his character, you know, that is not our Laser John, or it might be his alt. I'm not sure. He has never told me. But he just joined my battle group. We had a little bit of a, a change around, you know, some people leaving. And um, some people came from different battle groups, you know, shuffling around. And we've got some new people as well. So he's actually now in my battle group. He was in a different one um, pretty much from the time he joined uh, the Alliance. So, uh, And he's often uh, the MVP. So we know he can fight. So it should be interesting. Should be interesting. Um, 
and I think Queen has rejoined us. And if I am not mistaken, that is the um, in-game name of the... I don't even know how to say it, but she's the founder, I guess, of all the alliances that you see that we're in. I think that is her. Okay, so the Hellfire Club, she is, get it, queen, white queen. Um, so I believe she is the one that created all of them and the one that I hit up and who uh, pointed me in the direction of the Hellfire Club, one of the groups. And the only reason that I didn't go into one of the other ones is because at the time I was looking for something a little bit higher. You know, they were a little bit lower in war and things like that. And uh, AQ, and I was looking for someone a little bit higher. Saitama, I see you, man. Congratulations. Um, Ghetto J, congratulations, man. So I believe uh, that is her, and she has joined our battle group as well. So that should be uh, interesting. Uh, this is the first time I will have played with her. So uh, I have no idea. I have no idea um, of how she plays or, or anything like that. And in Alliance Quest, I'm still backup. And once we got rid of some of the deadbeats that we had in there before, and if you guys watched me, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I haven't had to be stressed like I was because, you know, being backup wasn't supposed to be a regular thing, you know, because if, if that was the case, I was like, well, just give me a path and let me go, <laughs> you know, but we had some people that just couldn't seem to do their path. They didn't want to ask for help. And so I was constantly, and a couple of times, we had two backups. And both of us were called upon to finish the uh, quest. Never asked for help. Just, you know, okay, we can't get in touch with this person or that person. So you take that path, I'll take this path. And that's the only thing we could do. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up and what your ranking is. It'll help people that are going for these champions round two. All right? Round two is going to be a nice grind for me. All right? Take care, and you all have a blessed day.